Okay. So I hope this works because I want to show you, like I don't want to turn on the light because I want to show you what I see uh, due to the fact that I'm using those little green, uh, green blocks to um, I'll put them on top of the dust cover just so I can show where I want to find out my new, um, I guess the new front or where I want to like have units for the Russians fall back. Um, and I've been trying to you a uh, use the best defensible terrain. B uh, protect. Uh, hold on, I'm going to move my things. I have to be very careful with the forceps too. Uh, Kielce over there and Radom. Oh, I could put uh, back the um, the towns. Uh, my little 3D printed whatevers. But uh, I found that when um, I turned on the lights, the glare from the plastic and whatnot uh, seemed to uh, interfere with. Uh, being able to, to see that so hopefully you will be able to so what I've been trying to do is a like I said uh, the defensible terrain B look at what I want to protect and C uh, also realizing the the pacing involved this is not uh, like the game um, upstairs in t uh, you know with the the Spence and Gable Tannenberg game the way I'm looking at it anyways where you, you're playing like just in an afternoon like things are going to take time to develop even as the Germans for them to like advance if I withdraw as the Russians that far back um, from where they are right now um, like I was uh, I'll talk about this in a second here but um, it's going to take the Germans a while to get it to mount anything effectively is the way I'm looking at it and also I'm trying to figure out a way of removing as many of of those green blocks as I can and still have a nice continuous line um, and also in defensible indefensible terrain due to the fa or good uh, good terrain due to the fact that um, I don't have a lot of strength points there's nothing coming this month in terms of uh, you know supply points and whatnot so um, yes there's going to be uh, replacement units coming in but uh, they take t time to be converted into combat ready um, units like to be put to the front and so on and so forth so what I'm trying to do is the more green units I can remove on the board that means there's more strength points available to either strengthen up the the line or have something uh, in reserve and I'm also you know so those are the things I'm hoping that the Germans will stick their neck out a little bit there. So that's going to be a bit of a cause for concern. I'm going to try to figure out a way of trying to um, uh, keep this spot. And then I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to fall back as far back as, as far much as I can and try to get uh, spread some units over here. So that means um, uh, Nikolai Protopopov over here with the 2nd Army, uh, newly, newly promoted, since uh, Samsonov uh, has been fired um, previously last month, at the end of last month, uh, he's going to have to now have to start stripping a lot of that uh, 11 strength points over here and start trying to fill that out spot up here, but also uh, have to figure out a way of coordinating with um, not only uh, Ninth Army over here, uh, but uh, with Ruski's Fourth Army, uh, uh, so, sorry, Salsa's Fourth Army over there. Um, so I was thinking as, as well for the 4th Army here. They're the only ones with four supply points. They're the only ones with supply points. But I'm scared about, is this like what, you know, part of the salient? Should I be falling back even further? Uh, and using this area, like going something like this. Uh, sorry, it would be like, I guess like, yeah, like, sorry, like this. So having all these guys fall back to this spot, I'm, I'm starting to think about that. So uh, we'll see. Anyways, that's it for now. Um, it's just, yeah, I just wanted to do uh, think about this actually and also to get back into the swing of things of uh, really doing a video about this this game in general. So here, I'll, I'll zip it back to the conventional view, even though the dust cover's on. So yeah, so we'll see what happens. Um, all right. Hope you're having a good one.